and welcome to Rudy's Movie Review, San Antonio's unofficial movie critic. And today, guys, I'm going to be talking about the latest installment in the DCU. We have Aquaman, starring Jason Momoa and Amber Heard. I saw it last week at the lovely Alamo Draft House. Again, thank you for hosting me. And I have some thoughts on it, folks. And you may be surprised on what I have to say. So let's find out what I've got to say. That kind of rhymed. You stay out of my way, or you'll pay. Listen to what I say. How about I just go eat some hay? I can make things out of clay and lay by the bay. I just may. What do you say? Now, what's Aquaman about? Aquaman's about Arthur Curry, played by Jason Momoa, learns that he is the heir to the underwater kingdom of Atlantis and must step forward to lead his people and be a hero to the world. Now, this movie's directed by James Wan, who I am a fan of. I love the Conjuring 1 film, and of course, what he did with Saul, so I was really eager to see the film. But I love the visuals, and that's one thing I will give applause to this film is the visuals. This, in my opinion, rivals um, Avatar. It was beautiful. I mean, you had people riding seahorses and sharks, and then at the end, you had a phantom-like menace epic Lord of the Rings battle that took place and it looked great. I remember one of the complaints in the Justice League film when um, we first meet Aquaman and Mira, they created an air bubble under the water and they spoke and I remember a lot of people were just criticizing that scene. I had no preference whatsoever. It looked cool and then there's Amber Heard. Sorry, I was distracted. But yeah, a lot of people were complaining about that scene for whatever reason, but I do like what they did in this film. Uh, they gave the uh, vocals like an aquatic uh, vibration, an uh, echo sound, and I love how they looked and the hair was kind of waving in the water. So I love the underwater look. I love the imagination and the world that took place, but it looked great. It was an original and uh, Atlantis and the world of Aquaman is pretty vast. And in my opinion, if I'm a filmmaker, which I'm not, it's quite intimidating to conquer and again i applaud james one and cast and crew for bringing this visual world to us so bravo now as far as jason momoa <laughs> yes uh a lot of women <laughs> a lot of women are excited about this and i have to hand it the guy is charismatic he's fun uh on the screen he doesn't take the role too seriously, or the film really doesn't take the role too seriously. And I like that, it's very campy, it's incredibly cheesy and over the top. There are many points in the film where I felt I was watching like an 80s cartoon, there's hints of Thundercats. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of over the top 80s uh, cliches. Uh, even that one scene where, where they're about to fight, there's a like, dialogue exchange going back and forth that reminded me of that scene in Commando. You scared, mother Well, you should be. Says the Green Berets gonna kick your big. I eat Green Berets for breakfast. And right now I'm very hungry. Uh, but Jason Momoa did a fantastic job in carrying the role of Aquaman. And let's be honest, no one took this character seriously. Look at all the Family Guy skits. Aquaman, help! Hey, 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 let her go. Or what? Or, or, I don't know, man. But you're, you're lucky you're not doing that over here. <laughs> He did a great job in bringing some coolness and some likeness to the Aquaman character. That's been a running joke, so bravo to him and the cast and crew. Uh, Amber Heard did an okay job, but I really didn't feel any chemistry between her and Arthur Curry. There were some funny moments here and there, but um, the chemistry could have been a little bit stronger, in my opinion. And now here are some of the cons of Aquaman. Honestly, it runs a little long. It's about two and a half hours. That's like a Lord of the Rings movie. And I felt if they really shaved 15 to 20 minutes off the film, it really would have helped the pacing of it. You do have a lot of laugh out loud moments, and then you have some exposition and drawn out travel scenes that really there's a separation between um, segments of the film, which I think if they tightened up a little bit, there would have been a stronger momentum and the film would have been that much more enjoyable. Now, I'm not saying the film is bad by no means at all. I'm not saying that. I really enjoyed this film. I think it's a lot of fun and it's a great installment in the DCU. I just think it was a little long. And the other thing I want to talk about is the placement of this film. Wouldn't it have been cool if this film came out right after Wonder Woman and before the Justice League? Oh, missed opportunity. But overall, guys, uh, did I love Aquaman? No, but did I like it? I really enjoyed it. Yes, I had a great time. It's campy, it's over the top, it's silly. It doesn't take itself too seriously, but I had a great time. So I'm giving Aquaman a solid 87 out of 100. Go see it this holiday weekend, guys. You will not 
regret it. And as always, thank you for watching Rudy's Movie Reviews. San Antonio is unofficial movie critic. Stay tuned for later this week, guys. Well, I'll have the one and only Batman of San Antonio come by and we'll provide our spoiler review for Aquaman, the latest installment in the DCU. That's got that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna see if he's got an extra Batman outfit that I can wear just to kind of make the, the visuals for you guys more intriguing. Hmm. We'll see. Well, anyway, take care. God bless and live long and prosper. I'm out.